Dr. Doe knows. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about some of the technology that we have here at uh, Pine Cove Dental. Um, one of the most exciting things uh, that we have brought uh, into the office is, of course, we've seen some of the technologies such as the cone beam CT and, and uh, some of the x-rays um, that we, we can uh, take to diagnose. But another awesome piece of technology that we have acquired is the dial laser so the gemini dial laser so in the next few videos we're going to go over uh, different ways that we can use the laser to treat uh, different dental problems and some of them um, a little bit uh, different than just the teeth problem so um, we're going to go over in this first video ways to treat um, and eliminate pain um, one of them the treatment of uh, uh, cold sores, you know, you might have uh, had a cold sore before and it ruins your day or it makes you high because you basically have a crusted up lip um, and or you might have a, uh, a canker sore that is hurts so bad that you can't eat, you know, um, and so there are ways now that we can use the laser to treat that and so uh, in a few minutes I'm going to have uh, my hygienist, uh, Elise, is going to showcase the laser the gemini dual wavelength laser that we have and some of the things that we can do to treat these cold sores killing the virus um, promoting healing treating uh, painful teeth uh, treating cold sores and canker sores actually so it's pretty cool um, so check it out and then in the next few videos we'll go over ways that we can use the laser to do soft tissue uh, surgery without any pain without any bleeding or very minimal bleeding that is um, and also just treating you know common problems treating kids uh, have tongue-tied problems and pretty cool stuff that you want to check out so tune in um, for that and we'll go over a lot more in the next videos as well on gum treatment so um, enjoy so this is our soft tissue laser and we can use it for things like reducing the bacteria in your gums to reverse gum disease and aphthous and herpetic ulcers and also pain relief. All right, so first I'm just gonna set it up for a herpetic ulcer because that's what she feels like she's getting a cold sore. Herpetic ulcer, active. And I'm just gonna make sure that my laser is ready. Good. All right, now I'm going to use it on the area. So this is the area where she feels like it's about to start. So I'm going to just do little circles, not touching it for about 30 seconds, all around that spot right there. Okay, so we just did 30 seconds in that spot um, at 0.6 watts. So I'm gonna go up one. To 0 0.7 and then do another 30 seconds in that same spot. Okay, so we just finished the third treatment and I just went up 0.1 watt every time. How did it feel? Um, it didn't hurt. It felt normal, just a little warm, but nothing unbearable. Okay, and that's normal. So she might feel a little warm, but if at any point it was uncomfortable, I would have gone down 0.1 watt because um, sometimes it might just feel a little warm. But virtually it's painless and it's awesome because it will just kind of prevent that breakout from happening. And if she does feel more tingling again, um, we'll just have her come in and have her keep doing sessions until she doesn't feel any more tingles. And eventually that breakout will stop so we can actually stop the virus from coming back. Cool. Yeah. So thanks for being my patient. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Bye guys.